the Joe Rogan experience. That was Gustafson in his best. Yeah. That and the John Jones fight. I remember the John Jones fight, the first one, when John didn't train. <laughs> you know, that's that's how you see the difference, because look at the second fight. They have a second fight. And John, well, Did he take him down? But you have to also say, does the, the second fight, how was that before or after Gustafson fought Rumble? Oh, that's a good question. Rest in peace, Rumble. Dude, Rumble out passed of away this week. Yeah. Apparently, uh, he had some form of... Uh, I think it was like non-Hodgkin's lymphoma or something along yeah. those lines. Yeah. I don't know if that's public. We should it, find out if that's public knowledge. I think it was. I, I think I read that. I couldn't pronounce the words, and it, that sounds like it was. Yeah, I shouldn't say it if it wasn't public knowledge. So if it's not public knowledge, we should edit it out. What, you know, and, I'm almost positive I just read that in an article the other day. But, yeah, that was that was. I was on the— 38 UFC, years old, man. Yeah. I did the UFC quintet with him. It was me, Clay Guida, him, Gilbert Burns— uh, Anthony Smith, but yeah, he was. That was I think my only really interaction with him. Dude, fucking good dude. Yeah, non Hodgkin's lymphoma, a rare immune disorder called uh, H uh, H L H. Oh, yeah, horrible. Thirty eight. Such yeah. a nice guy, and the biggest middle, uh, the biggest welterweight that's ever walked the face <laughs> of the planet. Yeah. When he was a welterweight, I know that's fucked. dude. I saw him in between fights once, and I go. Anthony, how big are you? And he goes, 230 pounds. 230? <laughs> what the Dude, fuck? He walked in looking like a Greek god. He was so gigantic. And just ripped. I'm like, he wasn't fat at all. Oh, yeah. I'm like, how do you get that little? How do you make 170? He was gigantic. He had he always had issues making 170 though, right? Like oh yeah. Well, he missed it a bunch of times and then he fought Vitor at 85. And Rumble was like this guy that you never knew what you were going to get. If if he was like ready to go and in shape and 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 prepared, Jesus, oh, he could be me. one of the most dangerous guys of all time. Yeah, but he was kind of uh, you know at least early on in his career inconsistent until he moved up in weight. Yeah. Then when he moved up in weight, look what he did in the light heavyweight division. And I maintain that most of what was holding him back was just the dread of making that weight. <sighs> It's Dude. just dread. Yeah. So the guy goes up two weight classes and is knocking out everybody with one punch at light heavyweight. Yeah, 170 should have never been. Imagine that. Inside of his career, he's fighting 35 pounds up and destroying people. Knocking out Glover with one punch. <sighs> Knocks out Gustafson. Bro, he, not, he fucked everybody up except DC. Yeah. DC just uses wrestling. He fought DC twice, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. God, I bet DC was like, God damn, I don't want to fight this motherfucker <laughs> again, dude. He's so dangerous. God. Rumble's so dangerous. That's a scary, yeah. He was so dangerous. He had power that was, I remember when he hit Glover, I was like, <gasps> Did his tooth go flying? Was that Glover's tooth? Um, or? He made somebody's tooth go flying. Yeah. I don't know if it was Glover's. It was yeah. that uppercut. God damn, he was a powerhouse. Yeah, possessing that fucking power in his hands. Because he doesn't need to be like... Oh, it is his, It is Glover's Oh, tooth. yeah. Because he doesn't need to really be accurate either. He can hit you like anywhere in the head and that's night-night. Bro, he could hit your shoulders and you'd be dizzy. It might get knocked out. <laughs> it's crazy he just had that preposterous power. Yeah, that... Oof. Watch this uppercut. Dink. Oh, that was like... Crazy. Just like a thud. That's rumble, man. Boom. That's why everybody was oh. scared of rumble. His tooth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. At least he gets a takedown. He take woke down. up. Two he points. He woke up. Didn't know what the fuck happened. No one counted my takedown on Peter with two points. I think that was two. My little takedown at the end of the first. I think it was a takedown. Did his knees go to the ground? Oh, yeah. DC gets mad when they don't give up takedowns. 